guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy 2016 to everybody. I'm so happy and excited to start the new year. And I thought, what best could it be than to do a skincare routine that a lot of you have actually requested on YouTube and a lot of you guys were requesting on my Instagram. So, yeah, so finally did my skincare routine for you guys and I hope that you like it. So just to sort of begin with the skincare, let me just tell you that starting from the base, I am blessed with a very, very good skin because my mom has really nice skin. My dad's got amazing skin. So I've hardly had any problems when it comes to acne and pimples and stuff. I do get them very rarely, probably twice in a year but that's also just like one or two spots randomly somewhere but other than that I do have a very nice um, non-problematic skin so things become very easy when your canvas is clear. Being a makeup artist you end up using a lot of makeup and you use different types of makeup because you are reviewing a lot of things you don't know what's good for your skin you don't know what's right what's not right. I do have very sensitive skin to begin with so if I'm using a wrong product my skin will say it the next day so that's why I'm very particular with my products and that's why you would see me generally using some of the high-end products especially when it comes to foundation the only reason is because my skin plays really bad. It does not mingle with certain low-end or drugstore foundations. So that's why I just take extra care of my skin. It's very, very important to take care of your skin because this is like your canvas. This is the base. So if your base is not right, nothing is going to look right. And you would end up actually using more and more product to hide the flaws. So my first thing is that Please do use makeup. There is no 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 problem whatsoever using foundations and products. But try to read the contents that are in the foundation. For me personally, if I use any foundation which has a lot of silicone in it, it breaks up my skin the very next day. The second thing is that you know we all the ladies end up spending so much of money on expensive cosmetics and you know bases and foundations and brushes we sometimes we tend to ignore the skincare part and we you know we want to compromise on that area we would not really focus on creams as such for me it's the other way around i feel like if you can invest a lot on makeup definitely invest the same amount for the skincare because it is really really important when i'm at work in the mornings i do not wear too much makeup the only thing i do is just conceal my under eyes because now this is by birth, so you can't help it. I do end up getting a lot of dark circles if I don't sleep well or if I'm really, really tired. They just, bam, that's one thing that just pops up on my skin. So that's what I do and a lipstick and sometimes a blush. I don't wear foundation. I don't even wear primers. It's just me personally. I don't wear any eye makeup I because I want my skin to breathe, if that makes sense. So please let your skin breathe. That is how I take care of my skin and this is one of the tips that I'm giving you do not compromise on skincare it should be your priority so this is going to be a very quick tutorial just to tell you the steps how it caters all the skin type so do go on their Instagram and check out they are really really amazing I love their products and um, yeah just give it a try and do let me know what you think about it I'm personally very very happy with it and I've been trying their products for let's say six months totally in love with their products so quickly jump into my skincare routine so the first thing I've used is the cleansing milk for face and eyes and this is a makeup remover as well as you can use it for like morning face wash I'm using a cleansing milk based product is because my skin uh, gets really dry from the forehead and around my mouth area. Sometimes it does get very dry because Dubai you can't live without air conditioner and um, air conditioner tends to uh, sort of dry up your skin very very quickly. Because I have sensitive skin I have to use um, mild products. I can't use something which has foam in it. So this is basically when you pump it out it's just like milk cream. Yeah. You just used and washed my face with. 
And this is like a toner and this is um, with fresh green tea extract. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit, one pump in the hand and I'm just going to put it on my face like so. And it is, it is acne solution and it is 100% natural. So this is what I like about Anise products is that everything is 100% natural and after using Dermalogica, this was the first skincare product that I used and it did wonders. It's a beautiful jar, glass jar, which comes with a little, little cute spoon. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit, not too much, and I'm going to drop it in this product like so. And then we're going to take a little bit of water. So I'm using my, which brush is this? OPV brush. This brush is, uh, this is the brush that I use for my foundation application. So I'm just going to mix it up. Till it's like nice and thick. It becomes a little pasty, that's all you want. Right beauties, I'm going to use this product on my face. It smells really herbal, I'm telling you, I promise you on that, it is super, super herbal and it will instantly stretch the skin. I like to do a very thin layer, I don't like very thick because it does leave your skin like really stretched and dry, so this is something that I've discovered if you use the product especially for people who do have a combination skin. So if they use this product um, in a thin form, it does give good results and it doesn't leave your skin very dry. But okay. And we're gonna let it dry. Wash my face because um, the mask was super dry and so this is my fresh skin. Then using normal zinc cream, this to repair and firm your skin. You just take a little bit and I basically use it around the areas where I feel like my skin is really, really dry. Use it on my forehead. This is the area where I feel like it gets really dry. And using the ring finger, and the reason why we use the ring finger is because it has the minimum pressure. We're going to just dab it around the mouth, like so. My skin gets really, really dry on the forehead and to an extent that it starts to um, irritate my skin, it becomes really, really itchy. So my forehead goes really crazy for some reason and that's why I use a lot of cream around my forehead. Okay, and we're just going to dab it and let it go like so. Right, so we're going to use the anti-puffiness eye cream. I especially asked the Anise company to give me something with puffiness and they gave me this which is really nice. So I'm going to take one bit, oops, sorry. just going to take a little bit, two fingers, dab it around and oops, around the eyes like so. And massage your eyeballs a little bit. So just keep on dabbing with three fingers. And this is basically just touching. It's not pressing. It's just dabbing like so. Okay. Then coming to my anti-wrinkle cream. This is eye cream. And again, just to let you know, all the products from Anise are 100% natural. And they have no chemicals, no alcohol in it. So yeah, I'm just going to take a little bit. Actually, but this is how I use my nails for. In the mornings, basically, I don't get time to do all of this, so I basically do like a uh, anti um, dryness cream, and I do eye cream and face cream. That's it. These th three things. I don't use a toner. I use a toner like in the night time, you know, before going to bed. All right, coming to the moisturizing cream, and this is my just love this cream this is like heaven so you just take a little bit what I'm gonna do is 
You're gonna take this and dab it around your face, wherever you feel you need it. And we're gonna take a little bit more to put it on the neck. Guys, don't forget the neck. Okay, so you're gonna take the cream and we're going to do nice circular motions. And what we're basically doing is we are spreading the whole cream evenly everywhere. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of massage. So what I'm doing is basically with these three fingers again, what you're going to do is you're going to lift, just get up by this, press over here and let go. Over here, what you're doing is you're, you're pressing your two fingers on the jawline like that and lifting it up. So you do this like um, eight, eight to ten times depends on how much you want to do then what you're going to do is you're going to come on the forehead side you're going to take this and you're going to press over here these are your pressure points over here not too hard but just a little bit so you can do it like seven eight times depends how many times you want to do Then, and press your eyes. Okay, then using your fingers, just dab, dab, dab your skin all around your face. This feels really good. And here you go. Nice, fresh, moisturized skin. I can feel it. It feels so nice. So soft, so gentle, smooth. So I hope that you've loved the skincare routine. I will be seeing you very soon with um, another tutorial which I was working on for the past week and I really wanted to do it so it's gonna be like a little surprise if you like the skincare routine please give it a thumbs up and I am going to see you very soon till then take good care of yourself and stay beautiful bye guys <laughs>